so equipment equipment we have you see after every use these are the few equipment which has to be wired with spirits okay thermometer weighing scales stethoscope bp laryngoscopes after every use you have to clean them okay clean them appropriately okay feeding utensils or pallade means an icu we use pallade is a small cup with a i hope you you know what is pallade so we use that to feed the babies so that has to be at least boiled for 15 minutes okay after cleaning after cleaning okay after cleaning the pallade then you have to boil it for 15 minutes okay these are the equipment which has to be regularly and properly after every use it has to be sterilized and what are the things which has to be sterilized weekly these are the ventilator see uh, th this is these are the uh, equipment and this is how do we do uh, sterilize them so ventilator cpap we change the new circuit procedure sets then autoclave them and properly place them in sterile place then window air conditioners soap and water with soap and water we have to clean the surfaces and filters refrigerators have to be cleaned and sorted for milk if you are uh, if you are lab samples and milk milk are uh, places wherein we use donor milk or the mother's milk is uh, stored and then fed to the baby then in such cases also we have to clean the fridge properly okay these are the sources which are overlooked and then are the source of hospital acquired infections then these are the these are the things which has to be cleaned daily daily okay the, on the daily basis means incubator warmers warmers uh, after we clean the baby daily in the morning skin cleaning and daily procedures after it has been done in the morning then we clean the incubators also in the morning okay for every baby every warmer has to be cleaned okay syringe pump infusion pumps phototherapy units mattress so daily it has to be cleaned so these are the uh, these are the various equipment and this is how we clean them okay hope this slide is self evident uh, you can go through it um, then pulse ox, okay, suction bodies, humidifiers, change the distilled water, okay. Then uh, uh, ventilator filters, clean and daily dust. Then bag and mask with Sidex, 20% Sidex for 6 to 8 hours, okay. After dismantling, okay, dismantle everything and then you can have to clean incubators and radiant warmers with this agent. If not occupied by the infant, if it is occupied, just clean the, uh, clean the warmer, okay. Then uh, laryngoscopes, white with spirit, okay, BP cups, temperature or SPO to growth. Walls and floors has to be um, cleaned in each shift with, this is how, see, uh, each shift, in, at least in the night, if you are, it is very busy, at least in the night you have to clean this, okay. Then uh, there is something called fumigation. How, how frequently do you do fumigation also? Fumigation is based upon uh, your unit protocol but at least it has to be done once in a week if you are suspecting staphylococcus aureus infection once in a week okay that is the minimum basic standard then dustbins and buckets and uh, waste any waste disposal uh, disposal uh, area should be cleaned in every shift with clean soap and water so this is the guideline for prevention and prevention of this any infection as such okay then as we were discussing waste disposal waste disposal should be say biomedical waste disposal should be according to the guidelines and it has to be it, each and every object should go into the appropriate bin okay of these colors i hope you have seen all these colors in your nic or wherever you work so these are the different colors sharps and uh, cuts means any sharp go into the white color this thing okay and the blue one blue one is for any metallic or antibiotic uh, waste okay then uh, uh, the ye uh, yellow one is any soiled one okay soiled uh, now if latestly the uh, latest there is a change wherein soiled with the blood or uh, infected material it goes into the red bin okay and the regular general waste or the kitchen waste okay is into the yellow one okay this is this is how it is sorted and it is how it is finally 
Um, means how do we finally dispose it of? This is the final outcome.